All right, back for another beer review, and today I'll be reviewing yet another beer from Hot Butcher for the World, and they're out of Chicago, Illinois, and this is their Herbs in Hordo. So this is a double IP that comes in at 7.5% alcohol by volume, no IBUs listen time of review. This can is approximately two and a half weeks old, and I'm going to give a huge thanks and shout out once again to Hot Butcher for hooking me up with this one. I'll post a link in the description box of the beer mail unboxing video I did that contains all the goodies they hooked me up with, and uh, yeah, this one sounds quite interesting. They're using Strata and Mosaic hops and on the back here tasting notes they say a red tropical a dank berry and pink lemonade dank berry is weird because in the last one i reviewed from them which was there i want to believe i want to believe and it was another double ip i got pretty much dank strawberry so interesting but pink lemonade i don't know that sounds kind of interesting for a hop note or a tasting note uh from a beer that just has hops but we'll see if that is indeed how this one rolls this one's very murky jesus Go something like that. It is going everywhere. Jesus. Throw this one over here like that. All right. So how does this one look? That looks like thick lemonade. Very murky and turbid. Very dense looking to it. Almost looks like uh, some kind of like chicken stock or something. Has about a finger of this off-white creamy, super creamy looking head. That that looks awesome. That beer just looks awesome. And it's in hashtag proper glassware. So it makes it even better. Right? Let's get a nose. I don't get pink lemonade, but I get lemonade. Wow, there's a huge lemon character to this one. Holy fuck. Holy shit. I just, I'm just going to huff on this for a bit. Yeah, I totally get lemonade. Here's the thing, though. There's a pretty big dankness to this one. This, for the first time in a while, at least to my nose and whatnot, has like the marijuana vibes. It has a, like a very huge weed component to it, like very dank, herbaceous, but like big time. Almost, almost uh, verging on like the, the onion kind of like garlic dankness that I get sometimes. But there's that, that they say pink lemonade, sure. I mean, I'm, I'm just saying straight up lemonade. Huge lemon vibe off of this one. And then there is some berry. It's more like a nondescript red berry, like maybe like a raspberry or something like that. Tropical, I'm getting more like a, uh, Pineapple, like crushed pineapple, papaya, things like that. Wow, this is this is a super complex note. Holy shit. It was funny because right at the get-go, I was just getting just straight on lemonade. Like lemon, like really juicy, sweeter lemon. But then as it open as I'm swirling it and opening it up a bit, a lot of things are coming out. This smells fucking phenomenal. This might be one of the best aromatics I've had from a hot butcher um, IPA or double IPA in a while. This fucking smells dynamite. Let's get into it. Cheers, everybody. That is different in a really fucking cool way. This is like super dank, very green, herbaceous lemonade. That's what I'm getting. Biting this one's like higher side and medium, approaching low full. This has a thickness to it at 7.5% that I did not anticipate. The mouth feels fantastic. It's soft, it's smooth, it's creamy. At the same time, having that carbonation that you expect from a beer. So it's like you drink it and you're like, oh man, it's so soft and smooth. And you're like, holy shit, there's, there's carbonation. It's prickly on the tongue, but it's still soft and smooth somehow. It's fucking, it's a mind fuck. Tastes so awesome. First off, can't even tell it's 7.5%. Only way I would know this is double IPA is because of the body and the mouthfeel and the flavors being that intense. Right at the front of the palate, though, lemonade. I wouldn't necessarily say lemonade. Probably just subliminally throwing it in my head just because I'm, I'm sitting there thinking I'd see pink lemonade. I'm like lemonade. It's basically sweet like lemon juice. Basically lemonade, but um, it, it's right at the forefront. It's lemonade. As that like carries on through the palate, it's like the first quarter of the palate. I'm starting to get like papaya and pineapple, like sweeter tropical fruits, but then it transitions into this just super dank, green, herbaceous, weedy type of um, profile that's really, really nice. All the while, that lemonade kind of character is underlying it. It starts off as the main component, but then just kind of dips underneath the rest of the character. So I'm left with like dank, herbaceous lemonade at the back of the palate. I'm not getting dank berry. I'm getting dank, just not berry for me. 
the finish, it has a mild to moderate bitterness, semi-dry finish, but this is not too sweet. Um, I thought it might be based on the nose, based on the first half palate, but it's not. It almost has an acidic kind of vibe to like if you were drinking lemonade. It's This is definitely the definition to me of a mind fuck, but in a great way. It's just really like I'm tearing into this and I want to go back because it's a very complex at the same time. It's um, very enjoyable, too. Wow. Uh, I think I'm liking this more so than a lot of their beers. A lot of their hot floor beers lately. I like that it's complex, but it's super tasty. There are un There's a uniqueness to this one that I don't get in other, uh, even hot butcher beers. Like they say pink lemonade, I'm saying lemonade. That, that dankness, I haven't had a real big herbaceous, super dank. Like the last one I had, I want to believe, yeah, it was dank. It was herbaceous. This is on another level. It has a great balance of that sweetness up front with the bitterness on the back end. It's dry enough that it, it, it kind of, and, and the carbonation there kind of wipes away the, um, the flavors. It finishes somewhat clean. It's just fucking good beer. The mouth feels like a pillow. It's like a cloud. I just want to put my head on it and just rest it there. Yeah, this is probably my favorite double IPA I've had from them in a long while. It's just delicious. I'm digging it. So I'm going to give Herbs and Hordo from Hot Butcher a high 4.5 out of 5. I'm going to go 4.6 out of 5. Almost gets in the 4.75 range. You know what? Fuck that. This gets a 4.75 out of 5. Low one, though. I'm going to go 4.65. I'm going to bump it up at 0 0.05 rating. I know this doesn't matter in the grammar scheme and things. When I check it on tap, I'll give it a 4.75 instead of 4.5. But this is just vibing with me. I don't know what it is. I did not anticipate this one being as delicious as it is, but just, just fucking vibing with me. It's just from the body to the mouthfeel to the flavors to the uniqueness to just, it's a fucking great beer. This is a beer that if somebody was like, yo, you you review a ton of Hot Butcher on your channel, and what would be a beer you'd recommend? This fucking beer right here, if you could get it fresh or like under a month old, like I'm, I'm drinking at two and a half weeks old, fucking Yes. I don't know if they've released this one before. I don't know if this is a rotating offer or is this the first time they released it. Whatever the case may be. This is a fucking beer that if I had a fresh can of it and somebody was like, what's Hot Butcher all about? I would just give it to them and be like, that's what they're all about. Um, you know, a good friend of mine, fellow beer tour, Matt over Massive Beer Reviews, you know, used to talk and he still talks about Hot Butcher, about they, they do like fuckery with hops. Like it's just a different vibe. This is where I get that vibe. It's like, I have not had something like this too often in my uh, beer drinking history. It's just a beer that, as you can see, I'm, I'm not even getting, I'm not getting, it's not emotional, but it's just, I'm getting very excited and into it because this is kind of what Hot Butcher is all about. This fucking beer right here is what Hot Butcher is all about. I don't know what anybody else out there has said about it. Uh, I know Hot Butcher has been sending a lot of beers to different beer tubers, but for me, this is next level fucking delicious stuff. This this is what I like. This is what Hot Butcher is all about. And uh, yeah, fucking great. And here's the best part, price and availability. Price point, $14.99 four pack. You're talking less than $4 a can. If I wanted to get something this good in my neck of the woods and go to like other half or a brewery like that, you're talking $20 a four pack. So the fact that they're like four or five bucks cheaper is fucking great. And the availability kind of sucks because they are only in Chicago. Who knows? Maybe they'll start distributing at some point in the near future. But, you know, if you do live in Chicago and you haven't had Hot Butcher and you like Hot Four beers, I don't know what the fuck you're doing. You need to go out there and get some Hot Butcher because they make great shit. So um, I can't thank Hot Butcher enough for sending this one my way and all the beers that they send my way. But this one for me is hitting a bit different than the rest. And uh, it deserves a 4.65 out of 5. It's that good. If you've had this one before, let me know what you think about it. There might be some people out there that are just like, oh, yeah, it's all right. Other people that might have the same opinion as me, but I like to hear the feedback. I want to hear your opinions on these beers if you've had them before. So definitely post in the comment section. Appreciate everybody stopping by for another beer review here on the Beer Patrol. Hope you're drinking a delicious double IPA. And until the next one, cheers.